going to demonstrate palpation of the tendons of the extensive pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus muscles. Uh, they both attach to the interosseous membrane, the posterior aspect of the interosseous membrane, and portions of the uh, posterior aspect of the radius and the ulnar. The extensive pollicis brevis continues distally to insert along the posterior aspect of the base of the proximal phalanx and the abductor pollicis longus muscle uh, will insert on the radial aspect of the base of the proximal phalanx. So they'll be uh, positioned like this. Now they're going to be side by side uh, uh, next to each other right here along the crease of the wrist. The more medial tendon is going to be the extensive pollicis brevis. The more lateral tendon is the abductor pollicis longus. So what you'll do is palpate the lateral aspect of the radius overlying the radial styloid process, move distally into the crease of the wrist, and you'll be over both tendons. So by palpating there, you're going to have the client do extension of the thumb at the carpal metacarpal joint, just like this. So by doing that, you could palpate, and then you could palpate the uh, extensor pollicis brevis tendon. Now for the abductor pollicis longus, it's going to be the same uh, steps in palpating. Locate the uh, styloid process of the radius, move into the crease, there'll be the two tendons. The medial one is the extensor pollicis brevis, the more lateral one is the abductor pollicis longus. So with their uh, arm in supinated position, you're going to have them do abduction of the carpal metacarpal joint, and then you could palpate that tendon approximately right there at the crease of the wrist.